Okay, we're going to be doing a quick video on uh, the installation progress of this Will McLean SG-09. Now, I made an earlier video about how it arrived uh, inadvertently disassembled, and we had to uh, field a, reassemble it and uh, get it back online. So this is the return. I've got... Um, Previous videos and installations of starting using uh, stainless steel uh, whenever it's uh, downstream from the water feed. I got the water feed going in with half inch and then a uh, brass bushing into the um, malleable fitting there. And this is the equalizer line with a stainless steel street L, an uh, inch and a quarter uh, due to the size. I've got a uh, isolation valve and a drain valve. Uh, the drain valve is relatively small, smaller than we usually use on this system because pretty much what you see here is the extent of the wet return. This system was probably put in sometime about 1904, and it, is, it was a Brumel system, um, and the, they didn't like using wet returns at all. Uh, so I modified uh, the, the re remains of the wet return and uh, it's being brought down. I kick it over here and bringing it uh, down there. It used to drop here and go across. Um, the majority, almost all of the water gets returned via dry returns. Um, this one was pitching badly, so I actually have a piece of copper holding it down um, and we added these Gorton number twos for uh, venting. So we'll start off with the risers. Um, in the SGO series the risers are two and a half inch which is nice and we come up with a first 90 and then a union and then another 90 going down and going into the header. Header is oversized uh, pretty massively. Uh, and this is what is known as a drop header. Uh, you can theoretically go straight in, but uh, that extra swing joint um, provides uh, for better pipe fitting and also drier steam. So in this particular situation, since we're running into a space problem, we have uh, brought this over and tied it into the header here rather than here because we've got our, our first takeoff is a four inch and it's going into then, uh, I guess, I think it's three. I don't think it's three and a half. And uh, that's a T going towards there. And this is another supply going out there. And I think you can see, let's see, the, uh, the dry return is paralleling it there. And the second takeoff um, is here at this uh, 4 by 2 T. Uh, originally... The four inch came down, tied into a T, and went right directly into the boiler, one outlet. This is a counterflow main going to an addition. And so while the steam is going that way towards the radiators, uh, water is coming back down. And so I have it flowing into the T at a pretty almost flat angle there. So the condensate can sneak in into this four inch and drop into the equalizer. So, rare for us, um, this is actually oil-fired um, and going to remain so for uh, the foreseeable future. This is our skim tapping, and this a long, uh, long nipple here functions as a sort of scum trap um, and seems to be relatively uh, effective. As you can see, it has not been wired. Um, because it's a Brumel, it definitely needs a vapor stat. Uh, we have our 30-pound gauge 
which uh, is required by code. And uh, we're going to use our 270 uh, pigtail. And we're also going to put a low pressure gauge on this is a three pound gauge, um, probably even go lower, but uh, this seems to hold, hold up a little bit better. Uh, this is our uh, pressure relief valve. Um, you've got a, a T here for clean out and a uh, compression um, for a quick removal. This is the barometric. Um, and this was the VXT that was put in by uh, somebody else uh, back in about 2012. And we're going to be working on this next. There's our backflow preventer and there's the feed going in. Here's the drain valve that was put in by others. Uh, and then, of course, the uh, drain valve that we installed. And this is from the um, addition. We worked on this a number of years ago uh, to stop the water hammer um, back in there. Um, so I think that's it. I think we've covered everything we need to cover. Thank you again for your support and uh, keep you appraised of how things go. Take care.